Good morning. It's Saturday and I just woke up to a absolute ton of sales. This is going to be an interesting day at the post office. First off, we have this melted plastic popcorn Christmas decoration. This we picked up with a pile of other melted plastic popcorn decorations from the bins last year. I don't know why this one just didn't get listed. I thought it was listed and I looked and I'm like, it's not on any of the sites. So I listed it yesterday for $18 plus the cost of shipping and it sold like that. First thing we got a box up. And on to our next sold. This piece did not last long at all. Picked it up yesterday for $5.99. I absolutely love the roses on the end. It's a vanity tray, mirrored vanity tray. It's in pretty good condition. Sold it pretty quickly for $35. So I did pretty good on that flip. Now we're gonna bounce over to an eBay sale. Picked this up off of Facebook Marketplace. There we go. For 40 bucks. A NAD 1600 tuner preamp. Whatever that is. But had it listed for $250 on eBay with the remote, which does have a little bit of damage, but it still functions. And ended up coming to a $185 sale. So it sold for $185. Not bad off a $40 Facebook Marketplace pickup. I guess it didn't really matter that this guy from Facebook Marketplace did not pick up the gumball machine last night because it is the next thing that sold that we got to get boxed up. 18 bucks. Picked it up for four at Salvation Army, so not like a huge money maker, but I like these things. They usually sell pretty quick, so it was worth it. Next, which brings us to this piece. You see me pick it up the other day at Salvation Army? I paid $7.99 for it, I think. It is Francoma Pottery, and I am hot about this. Pottery just is hard to move lately, but this is a larger piece. It's a double-handled vase, and it was priced right, so I grabbed it. I ended up taking a $37 offer on Facebook. Next thing to get shipped out. And now off to the shed I go. I truly do not know why I insist on selling things that are the biggest pain to ship. Why do I do this to myself? We picked this up off of the side of the road in like a free pile a while ago, a couple months ago. I, again, have a thing for stained glass, and you can see it's got like a oily iridescence to it. It's beautiful. There's no damage. Sold it on eBay for $85. <laughs> I'm just seriously not looking forward to having to ship this. It is going to get double boxed. It's going to get packed pretty well, but I think we might have to go to the farmhouse because I don't think we have the right packing materials here to do this right. We're running out of boxes. Gonna have to dig a little bit for this next sale. It's back here. Down there. Oh, come here, you mole. Got it. Isn't he cute? He is a mole. <laughs> he is a bank. He's like red chalkware or red clay. That's what I meant to say. I don't know where he came from. He snuck into the house. Maybe auction lot stuff. He's been hanging around for a long time. We kept him because we just thought he was neat. And when we started downsizing for the bus, he got put up for sale. He's been listed for about a year. Finally sold on Etsy for $19 plus the cost of shipping. I was really hoping that that piece that I was looking for was in here. And it is. It's right here. <laughs> this thing is awesome. I think it is freaking bad. You know what? Try to get it to focus. See the starbursts on there? This is like a 1950s Gillette razor. It's a safety razor. Isn't it freaking awesome? Sold it for $30. This also came with like auction st stuff lot from like a estate auction. But yeah, I had two of them. This was the cooler of the two. 30 bucks plus the cost of shipping. Sold it over on Etsy. Gotta grab the next one off of the tree. I've been displaying it because it's that time of year and I love birds. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh. I uh, got this, and again, auction stuff. Uh, the last estate auction that we went to, I bought this in a box lot. Sold it for $8 plus the cost of shipping. That is hand painted. 
Isn't that pretty? I love this piece. And another piece that did not last very long. <laughs> Santa lasted all of like 12 hours online. Picked this guy up yesterday at a thrift store. I think we paid $3.50 for him. Losing ornaments. And he is marked on the bottom, Duncan Ceramics. 1973. Got a little scuffing, but no damage. Sold him on Etsy for $35 plus the cost of shipping. We did swell on this piece. Real swell. 35 bucks. And in the same box lot as I got that hand-painted chickadee ornament, we also got this plate. It's not really worth a whole lot. It's just really pretty. I think it's called a choken. I might be pronouncing that wrong. You can pause that if you want to read it, but it's very pretty. I love the hummingbird. And I sold it for 10 bucks plus the cost of shipping, so not too bad considering I paid 5 bucks for the entire box of stuff. Inching my way along to recoup my $110 spent at that estate auction so that I can not feel guilty about keeping 90% of what I bought, but we're getting there. Free table looks to be restocked. Definitely taking Simba. Thought that was a teddy. It's a jelly belly. Look at this. This one's jointed. Ooh, yeah, grab him. He's jointed. Kind of like the gorilla, too. Cool. That one's jointed, too. What? This one yeah. is jointed yeah, as isn't well. Isn't this? That's Paddington Bear. Everything is shipped, and of course, they have to put a Salvation Army right by the post office. It is signed, but it's $12.99. Cheese and rice. What in the heck would you need to put in something that large? I think it's freaking huge. Saturday thrifting. I don't know why I even do it anymore. It's convenience. This trip, at least, is convenience. Right next door to the post office. Come on. Oh. It's a flamingo. Three dollars. I can't read. I mean, I can read. Boston Warehouse trading something. And there's a fox. And an owl. And a cute little bunny. Oh my god, look at the handle on that. That is adorable. With a $5.99 original price tag on it. And then Rich comes up. With figurines. Yes, these are, uh... They're Wag cute. They're Waco, W-A-C-O, made in Mexico, Melody and Motion Hobos. Um, this one's actually called... Hold on, let me get to it. Perfect Harmony. Um, this, these figurines are going anywhere from 17 to $30. And they're two ninety nine dollars a piece. And there's no damage on them. Um, I like them. They're cute. This one's but cute. But yeah, solds on eBay are pretty consistent. Some bring a lot more than others. I mean, well, I can get that mug brand new for seventeen ninety nine with free shipping. Back at the house. Got to go to the shed. I set up a porch pickup for a mug that's in there uh, while we were at the grocery store. New in box gingerbread Christmas mug. Found it. I don't know where this exactly came from. I feel like there's a theme going on lately with that. Again, I buy stuff off season. So Christmas stuff in the middle of June, you can get really cheap. Last year at an estate auction, I kind of went a little haywire on vintage Christmas stuff. I was getting them for like, for like a dollar, a bin this size, a dollar full, stuffed full of vintage Christmas. Um, I don't think this is like super vintage early 2000s maybe I don't know if it's dated but it is this one the gingerbread man and it is scheduled for a porch pickup at some point this afternoon for 10 bucks well that was fast mug has been picked up come on money 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 and now for the things we have brought back home. I may sell this, I may keep it, I'm not entirely sure, but I got it for $7.99, I think, or $6.99, one of the two. 
If it's useful for the blankets that I have, then I'm going to keep it. If it's not, then I'll sell it. And I can profit off that. I don't know, probably like 20 bucks. Oh, sunlight's gonna be a pain. Bears. I think that's Simba, Lion King. And the gorilla were all off of the free table. And then we got, come on, sunlight, bear with me here, guys. We got the two figurines, paid $2.99 each for them. Neither one of them are damaged, so we will see how we do on those. This bear is kind of intriguing. Aunt Granny's Bears. It is jointed. So is this one. This one's also jointed. So those are, those are cool. Those are very interesting, especially off a free table. And just like that, it's now Sunday. I am trying to get through some of the piles. I went through that bin that we brought back from the farmhouse yesterday. Also got these listed. We garbage picked these. They are brand new in the box. LED Christmas light posts. This is what they're supposed to look like. Like that. Brand new in the boxes. Um, I garbage picked them in the summertime, so I kind of forgot about them. They were in the basement at the farmhouse. I did remember to grab them when we were over there. Just listed them for $25 each or $40 for the pair of them. And we're making space because I really want to go to the farmhouse and get my cabinet that is supposed to go basically where the mannequin is. I need more organized space. That is what I'm trying to get to today on this beautiful Sunday. I finally got my freaking cabinet. I'm so excited. I spent some time at the farmhouse, brought a load back, and I got my freaking cabinet finally. I just gotta put the shelves in and then spruce it up with pretty glass. That's my game plan. Well, he does that and we wait for a sale, 50 bucks for that lamp. Rich actually saved this from the dumpster. He was at his uh, mom and stepdad's. And I guess this was going in the dumpster. He's like, uh-uh, absolutely not. Saved it. It is signed somewhere. And it's got a little bit of wear, but oh my God, so like mid-century cool. 50 bucks. They're supposed to be here soon. And I have to go pick up a Facebook Marketplace pickup because I can't stay off Facebook Marketplace. Because doesn't everybody need... A giant pile of free duck decoys. That's what Facebook Marketplace does to me. It's freaking ridiculous. Mid-century lamp has officially been picked up and sold. And on that note, I'm signing off. See you guys later. Bye. And say bye, Moomians. Say bye. Say bye to the people. Say, oh, you just want the money? Want to buy more pepperonis with it? You want pepper? I know. They just want pepperonis. <laughs> bye, guys.